Hello everyone. By now you certainly know what time it is. It is time for, I don't have anybody here with me, Take Home Tuesday. I do have a special guest that's going to be joining me shortly, um, a time that you're going to see us work in a different way than maybe you have before. So today on Take Home Tuesday, it is a little chilly here in central Iowa and um, maybe you're stuck inside and you want a fun project to do. Of course, there's plenty of previous episodes on Take Home Tuesday that could give you a jump start or just entertainment or, I don't know, inspire you to go do something different, pull something out of your cupboard, your crayons, whatever. But today we're gonna to be working with a canvas and paint and I think my special guest is about to join me. Hi, Jamie. Well, hello, Heidi. You know what? This is the benefit of uh, being the boss. Yeah. Let's play today. Yeah, we can have Let's some play. fun. Now, as you very well know by now, we're about all things creative. Um, and I think this is only the second time you've made an appearance on Take Home Tuesday. I know. Yes, and second time this year, I think. Oh my goodness, yeah. we're just like... <laughs> it's awfully fun. Know. It is fun. Awfully fun. So what we're working with today, Heidi, is... Um, a canvas and so the inspiration for this is just coming from something again that is simple to do but let's think um, we hear it often in the studio well I don't know where to start um, the same can be applied in life whether it's athletics or crafting or music or running or mm -hmm. exercise or getting up on the treadmill in the morning or anything like that it's taking that first step where do I start Somebody once told me that the toughest part of running a marathon is tying your shoes. And I, you yeah, know, that's a thought. Yes, you, you got it. That's the first thing you got to do. Yeah. So. And so we're going to kind of take it back to a very basic thing today with a canvas painting and keep it very abstract, but also maybe inspire you by showing you some different ideas of a few things. I grabbed a few things from my house to bring in. Um, again, they're not professional, but they're just little things. So let's go, should we talk about those first? Yeah, let's show them. Okay, so the first one I have here, and I'll try to hold it up, is kind of along the lines of what we're doing today. This is just a mini canvas, it's super cute. Um, a couple years ago, I did a Bible study, and in the Bible study it talked about you know, every day, every day is a blank canvas. We get to choose every day what we write on it. And one of the assignments I gave, I gave everybody a blank canvas and they could do whatever they wanted on it. Mm -hmm. And so it just went to where it was. But this, again, if you kind of just look at the background, that's kind of what we're aiming for today is a that abstract. It's a little abstract. It's mm -hmm. just, I mean, I could have left it like that. And the things people came up with, there was no parameters to what could be put on the canvas. It could be pens, it could be markers. If you've done the um, melting crayons on there, that's another option yeah. or idea. But very simple, kind of, this is the where we're kind of starting. And it you actually was a white canvas that it you was painted a, yep, black. I painted it like a grayish yep. black first. Um, we are using, we have these acrylic paints with us today. I, I love, that way. yes. But just, you could just use the regular acrylic paints. You right. could even, if you have watercolor paper, it's more about just, that therapy and the there has to be some endorphins that come from being creative. Yes, I, I know. Just have to say that. When any time when I am drawing or doodling mm -hmm. or doing anything like that, even sewing, there is a um, a certain I'm gonna say you get lost in it. Yeah. And I think that's that what you're talking about yeah. that therapy almost yep. that we all need when we um, sometimes just to get away from everything else and is to lose ourselves. Give in yourself that, that permission. Yes. Yeah. And that was part of the test of the of the canvas of taking a blank canvas and putting something on it too, was just to let yourself go and to see what happened. And I can tell you when I was making this, I didn't know where I was starting or what I was going to mm -hmm. and where it ended up. And again, the feather is very symbolic for me for some um, d different reasons, but it wasn't perfect and I just kept going until then finally you just say, okay, that's good enough mm -hmm. and I'll be happy with it. So that's one, that's, that's kind of what we're doing. Now we can also do something very simple. This is actually a black canvas. It started so off it black. black, so it came black. Um, this is my daughter's, and she simply just painted Be Happy and then put some very simple stems, just different mm -hmm. colored greens, mm -hmm. and her flowers in here are just dabs of paint that she just dabbed on there and put a little white center on. Again, you just have to start. Like, this is so mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. And somebody I know, I can hear it right now, somebody saying, well, I can't paint a word that looks that good. How do you know? I bet right. you do. Absolutely. Yeah, and we probably have somebody coming in here. Yeah, you so keep talking. Or keep you going. Keep talking. And, um, I'll go work. Heidi will be back here be in back. a second. 
Um, another thing, this one happens to be watercolor, but it's the same idea that it can be very simple. It's just kind of circles, right? It's just a circle and it, then some very simple leaves to inspire. Does not have to be highly detailed or highly intricate to make um, it beautiful. And we'll show you a couple more ideas here. Again, this was just taking a, a verse and a word, but look at the, I want you just to notice some of these little flowers and stems on the bottom. That's just circle with some different colors added. Very simple leaves, mm -hmm. adding some different colors on the top and bottom. This is a white canvas with some words on it. And then just simple little flowers, nothing fancy. Yeah. Now this last one, again, I'm not by any means a professional. This one just kind of kept growing and growing and growing. But again, I know there's a lot to it but it starts with the very simple. You know, you know, one of the things I learned when we had Zentangling here mm -hmm. at the store was when you look at a, a painting or like this mm -hmm. or like in Zentangle, you, you see the final piece and it looks more complicated than it, is. Than it really yeah. is. Yeah. Because if you just start, and, and anytime when I'm doodling too, yeah. it's that, it's the layers, it's yep. the additions, um, but it can be, it can start very, very simple. So the same thing in this, this is just a circle. I, and mm -hmm. I know you can't get in close, but just a circle mm -hmm. that we ended, and then we just swirl different colors and then one, did a light one on top. Yes. It just grows from there. Yes. So again, we just want to encourage you to give yourself permission to try something new. Now, I'm not sure what Heidi's plan exactly is. I'm not sure oh, what my I plan is. I forgot my inspiration piece. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh yes, I'm not sure what my plan is either. But that is uh, something that I always enjoy when I sit down and doodle is that I don't necessarily know where I'm starting yeah. and I don't necessarily know what when I'm mean. ending. Yep. And that, but I, somehow it all it all works out. And that's kind of what it is. I was thinking because it's kind of a dreary day. Um, we're mm -hmm. back to very cold in central Iowa, which seems to be never ending right now. Right. Um, I was already thinking yellow, something fun, something bright. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we were putting fabrics away, I ran across this and it, the the wording on this, I have to turn around so I can read it, but wear a smile, you are my sunshine. Um, so beautiful, you are so beautiful, have a great day. Um, what was you? Happy thoughts. Think happy thoughts. Believe in yourself, sunny days. Yeah, I love, and, I love and that. And that so ties into some of the things uh, that we talk about around here, like choosing happy. Mm -hmm. And um, last, what a, a previous a episode choice. when we had the affirmation. So sticking mm -hmm. along with that. So I already knew I was going to do that. I'm not sure what Heidi's going to come up with, but we're going to start and we're going to see where we go. Now, okay. we have a lot of different tools here. I'm actually going to make a straight line on mine. See your quilting rulers come in handy. Because I think later, maybe, I want to come back and add some words. I'm not sure. We'll see. But we are starting and we're not using, um, we don't have like a paper plate or anything. We're just kind of using our, because we're going for more of the abstracty look. And I know that I want some bright colors. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm literally just gonna put some dots on mine. Nah. And can I, doesn't matter if I borrow a brush out of yep. here? A couple other things while we're talking, thinking about it, if you don't have lots of brushes or anything, think about using, you can use a toothbrush to add texture or pull. I think there's a little snack in there for later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you could even use something as simple as a spatula to pull your paint down. Um, I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm going for more, I'm not really sure. So along my straight line that I have drawn already, I'm just putting some dots of paint, I almost said glue. And I'll probably have to come back and add some more later. But again, that's fine. I can't even remember what color I already started with. Mm, let's put some golds in here. And we don't have to worry. Our customer's uh, busy shopping for fat quarters today. Oh, yes. So, so she good. she's a uh, knows we're back here. Maybe she wants to participate. We yeah, have she might want to. All right, I'm reaching past you. Yeah, go for it. Um, so I and, really have no clue what this And don't is you think like. sometimes when you're working in projects like this too, you you might have to let it dry a little bit mm -hmm. in between yep. if you know if it becomes um, Ooh, I like this. This one has little metallic gold. So we're gonna like I said, what I my goal today is it is a very abstract. I'm I'm gonna do pulling of mine. 
more than I'm going to do actually painting. So um, I'm probably going to show you a couple different ways that you could do it. For instance, if you have the um, a spatula or a tool such as this where you can spread it out that way. But I'm going to start in the center. And I'm going to use a wide brush and I'll come back. And I'm actually going to just start here and I'm just going to pull up Ooh. and down. Back and forth. So what I'm wanting, I want this kind of a straight line in the middle. And then I'm going to come back in and start pulling some of my... So, I don't know. This is definitely... You're going to do happy. better than I am in the fact that sometimes when I get into this kind of thing, I can't talk, so, which, <laughs> which is an unusual thing for me. So you probably will be able to um, be able to talk and... So do I, hopefully you can kind of see what we're doing. We obviously are our own show right now, so we can't really right. see. But I'm just kind of pulling it up and down. My goal here, which is that it wouldn't be the same on both sides. So I'm just kind of going back and forth, and I'm not I'm not cleaning my brush out. I'm letting it kind you're gonna, of you're gonna mix them. Yep. Well, so, I'll do a little mixing as I blend. Yep. I just had. And I'm gonna pull all the way out to the edge. So this this is where mine's starting to go, if you can see. And Heidi is making something totally different, which I'm liking Heidi's too. But I am gonna come back in here, and I want to add some more. You know, it's funny how when I am when I'm doing my doodles. Um, as part of my morning routine, um, I start with circles a lot. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I thought, you know what? I think I need to start with a circle and see what happens here. So now let me show you. I'm going to just come back. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm going to use um, and just pull up with a scrape. And I wish you could see it adds a little bit of t different texture when I scrape this up. I'm going to try to hold it up there and see if you can see that I kind of start getting a little different texture when I'm adding some scrapes in here with it. And it's just all about layering and getting to the point that you like where it's at. And Oh yeah, look at you with your depth. Oh, look at some good depth there. And sometimes letting it dry with a little um, thickness yeah. can make it interesting too. Now, I do know that I want to write some words in here, so I don't want to get it, but that definitely having some of that in there. Or if you want to make patterns, you could do a swirl, like this way. Mm -hmm. um, so some things like that that you could certainly add. Um, I'm, st I, I'm still not completely satisfied. I would want to come around here and kind of paint my edges a little bit more. Now, I'm thinking, as I look at this, if there's anything else. Well, and I was going to say, as you were talking, I was thinking sunshine, and I'm mm -hmm. like, i got to have, that's why I want some bright yellow. And again, you see a lot of um, art that is just kind of abstract. I'm going to do a little dabbing in here. Like we said, we don't know where we're going with this, but hopefully it will give you, and then... I think Heidi, were you you were kind of saying that you might go back and add some um, writing, writing black? On it. Yes, I I so often my doodles are um, just simply like a black pen, mm -hmm. and I but I love the look when I look at, um, when I'm doing it in the morning. I'm spending maybe 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and so I don't always have a lot of time to add color. Some right. you know sometimes I do, but when um, when I look at you know. You ever get go get it up, go down the rabbit hole of Pinterest oh, yes. Yes. and inspiration? Mm -hmm. I love it when I see artwork in the back mm -hmm. um, and be able to add, um, you know, different things. But I have a, I have a feeling what I want to do when I get this dry is that I'm gonna. Add, so you might have to see my final tomorrow. Yeah, mine will. I think I'm gonna add some words now. Here's a case where I'm not sure yet if I liked adding this color in here. To be quite honest. But I think it. I think Ooh, it's gonna go. No, I, think I like it's gonna it. Grow. I like it. It's like the sun. Um, you know the heat of the sun. Mm -hmm. No, I like. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of continuing to add and know that you don't have to have anything. Oh, there's so no there plan. It. There's no plan. It's all just about the fun of creating something. Absolutely. <laughs> 
I could do this all afternoon. I know. But do we have work to do? We don't have work to do. We're kind of getting lost in our, uh, I know. our little worlds here. Anyway, is anybody... Um, I know we can't answer your questions right now, but if you have any questions or comments, certainly share with people the ideas. I've seen it done, like this would be very pretty if you did multiple colors, where I kind of kept a palette of colors. Yes. Um, where you can make a rainbow of colors. Yes. Where you can come back in and do. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit. I got, I got too many things here. Hmm. I know. It... I want just a touch. Let's see what we come up with. And if you haven't bought yourself paints recently, or, you know, it's always fun to have a new set of paint. Yeah, or a box of crayons. New box of crayons or markers. I did buy some new markers uh, the other day at, uh, at uh, Target, as I like to call it. Yes. I was in the pen aisle, and I'm like, you know, I think it's time. I think it's time for a new set of pens. And, honey, I think one thing that we should also maybe t point out is, we're letting the colors kind of just work themselves together. We're yes, not, I am. I, I'm doing the same thing. Neither one of us are really trying to make it. Um, I'm trying to do perfect. Each color. And I like brushes. how, like when I'm, when I'm putting a little yellow with the pink or the reddish, it's turning more orange. I like that. I like mm -hmm. how, I'm like, okay, I got to mix a little bit more of that because I like how that blends in um, differently than then maybe a different color does. Yeah, so here's where I'm at so far. It really does look like fire. Honestly. It does. So I might have to change my whole idea. Of what your words of are going to be? what my words are going to be. But, you know. Oh, but uh, it could be. Okay, I'm going to have just a little green, I think, here. Let's see what happens when I put green on top. I'm not sure how this is going to how, how this is gonna go. I think I might have to add some I'm gonna try it a different a different way. I'm gonna go this way and say, can I, because I, I feel like I'm needing a, ooh, I like. Yeah. See now, personally, I'm really liking Heidi's, what she's coming with. with yeah, and I like course. yours. See, and so you just learn from each other and you try different things and you never know. Because I'm feeling like there could be some, this is a very maybe modern-y looking abstract but again it's not perfect by any means let's try the toothbrush let's pull it down with the toothbrush oops I get my elbow in the way no you're fine so this definitely adds a different texture to it for certain yellow. And I'm not even making sure. I didn't even take my yellow all the way to the edge. Isn't that funny? It's like now I'm realizing, like, I didn't even, it just didn't feel like I needed it to. Yeah. Well, and I, you don't have to, and that's part of the beauty of it. Like, one of the canvases that we showed at the beginning of the show had didn't have it only just on the edges. There was no paint anywhere in the middle. Yeah. Well, I feel a need for something, but I don't know what here. So, I guess I could even leave it like that. If I wanted to. Oh, you but could. Yeah, yours there. is way more abstract. I, yep. You know, I didn't blend mine maybe as much as I could. And that was but... that was truly my goal today was thinking more abstract. Like, I just wanted to just make it fun and something I could hang up easily. I could come back and add some flowers. But, or... And in my brain, like already though, mm -hmm. I'm thinking um, I can see myself putting some words uh -huh. um, in between in these places. Uh -huh. So I've got, I've got an idea going. Okay, might have to have part two of this take we home might Tuesday. Have, to have part two of this take home Tuesday. Yeah. Anyway, is anybody feeling inspired to get their paintbrushes out and just start? And guess what? If you don't like how it turns out, who cares? Yeah. So what are you adding now? A little. I'm just Ooh, adding some gold. gold. Ooh. Just some. That could be very of interesting. Gold. That could be very interesting. I'm trying to say if there's any other color I want to add in. Like I if said, there's... I keep going often far too long than what I need to. Mm, yeah, I think you've you've done well. You've done well. You know, Heidi, Yes. we are so critical of ourselves so often, are we oh, not? Oh, absolutely. You know, and that's something that um, uh, we talk about in our long arm class, mm -hmm. that you're always going to be your own worst critic. And um, I see it in myself um, when I'm doing my doodles. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll... My hand will bump, move. Mm -hmm. I will hit the side of the notebook, and it'll you know jog a little yep. or something. And I'm like, oh, I've ruined, you know. Yep. And I always take a picture um, because I do send it to a couple people um, for their mm -hmm. to 
to um, to give their day a start and and I'm always amazed at how different it looks like through the lens of the camera that then it's what? not yeah. yes we don't see the, the little things that we don't like no. about it okay. so here's where I'm here's where mine still is and I think we might have to have another episode yes. to show our finished project I am not done uh, because I I know I'm gonna add a phrase to it um, initially I thought I wasn't and I just wanted to do a big abstract color, but then I decided to go with one kind of color palette type thing. Um, but I'm I want to come back here in the center, and I want to just run my. I want to give a place for my words to go that is a little bit different. So I'm all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? I had a little water in the brush there. And I'm it, testing out what that does to my color when I'm yeah. blended a little bit here. So there's no mistakes. No, there isn't. There's creative opportunities. Absolutely. Well, I suppose, Jamie, am probably I should I go back to the camera? Yeah, we probably should. So, uh, see what I'm doing, Heidi. I don't know what you think, but I did. A, oh, I like it because it's oh yeah, giving a horizontal. Oh, I like there that. where we can write whatever. Yes, I do. You like? To I do. like it very much. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I bet they Definitely. love it. Definitely. I bet they love it. So, as always, you know, we just hope that we are inspiring you. Again. Pick up something. Neither one of these are the same. What we did it in a few minutes. We're going to let it dry, come back, and add some more to it. But if we wanted to stop right here, Heidi, and just hang them on a wall, either one of them would be great. Absolutely. And they would help us smile. One question was, what paints are you using? Oh, and they the are... Boxes right there. Let me see here. The, the is, well, here, I'll go, go this way. Um, Liquitex Basic Acrylics. But it's you can an acrylic the, paint set. Um, the, like the acrylics that you buy, yes. not these ones. These are just a little bit yes, more vibrant. I Absolutely. I well, I think we should come back tomorrow um, and with see a, what we come yes, up and see what yeah. we how we finished them. <laughs> or, how many, or if we started over. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So again, let's see if you can take out something today. I don't care if it's a piece of paper and a box of crayons. Make something. Doodle something. Have some fun. Add some color to your life. Every day is a new day. A new canvas empty canvas you get to write the story that you make go spread some sunshine today remember choose happy we'll see you maybe tomorrow <laughs>